Hey everybody, Melissa from Welcome to the Woods here. So today my video is a collaboration with my friend Lindy. She invited me to a challenge of sorts called Scraps Made Modern. Lindy writes Love Create Celebrate and on her blog and her video channel she often does scraps projects. She takes wood scraps that are left over from other DIYs and she creates something brand new, beautiful, and modern for her home. So this is an opportunity, she thought, for us to kind of face off and I guess at least I took it as a challenge. I would like to show you what I built, which is an idea I cooked up in my head. I really have been wanting another tray because I, I feel like we use trays all the time on the bed swing, we use trays um, in our living room, so I needed a tray. But I wanted it to be more than that, so I decided to give it a twist, make the sides come off and become legs. If you flip it upside down, it becomes a desk, a lap desk, or you could use it as a standing desk on a table. So I hope you're impressed with my idea. You're going to have to go to Lindy's video after this and see what she made. And then hopefully you can comment and vote on which one of ours you liked the best. To get started making my tray lap desk combo, I'm cutting scrap one by twos into shorter pieces uh, to use for like the edge. And um, you can see that I'm lining them up on top of each other so they're exactly the same measurement. Next, I'm gonna be creating handles by cutting out a template with cardboard. And the way I got it perfectly symmetrical was by folding it in half and trimming a rounded edge. Then I traced it onto the one by two and I'm gonna be cutting this out on my scroll saw. First, I need to drill a large hole so that I can put my scroll saw blade up through that and cut out this interior shape. This one I'm cutting here, I actually didn't end up using. I had to cut a third because of that knot. It fell out after cutting the handle, but I'm just showing you the process here, and this did work very well. I like this aspect of my design a lot. Each of the 1x2s will make up the shorter side of the tray, and they're going to have shorter 1x2s glued and attached onto them in like a U shape. So these are going to create the two legs for when it becomes a lap desk. All I did was applied glue to both pieces of wood. I clamped them up with my band clamps, making sure that each corner was totally square and adjusting as needed. Then I let them dry for about an hour until um, I could release the clamps and then I shot down some finish nails, two of them in each joint to make it extra strong. The next thing I did was sand everything down. In order to sand inside the handle, I wrapped a piece of sandpaper around a little scrap piece of wood. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing so far, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss any of my DIYs. The next one coming up is an awesome furniture makeover where I show you how to strip maple. So then I ran to the hardware store, picked up some hinges. These hinges are going to allow the legs to flip up and I'm marking the depth that I need to cut out of the leg so that the hinge mounts flush. If I don't recess these hinges, then it's not like the leg won't be flush against the piece of plywood when it comes time for it to transform into a tray. Although a different saw probably would have been more precise, I decided to use my oscillating multi-tool to cut out these little uh, pieces for the hinges and this was like, I don't know, it just went faster this way so it was fine. To get the legs to stay down when it's in the tray position, I decided to use small circular magnets and I got these off Amazon. I'll show you the link in the description on this video. In order to recess the magnets into both the plywood piece and the legs, I'm using a spade bit in a three quarter inch. And I had to be so careful on the legs because if the spade bit was not perfectly center, I blew out one of the sides of the legs since the spade bit's hole was almost the same size as the width of the actual piece of lumber. Anyway, the magnet fit in there perfectly and when I got it flush, now it was time for finish work. So. Uh, here I'm painting it white, but ultimately I decided to paint it black because I wanted to hide the magnets a little better and I wanted it to be a little more modern. It's scraps made modern, right guys? 
Also, my Instagram audience who gets to watch me behind the scenes is convinced I have a horrible accent on the word magnet. So, let me know in the comments if you hear it too. <laughs> All right, here I'm painting it black. As you can see, this was a much better choice. And especially since the hinges I picked up were brass, they look so elegant and modern together. When all of the paint was dry, I used E6000 uh, with the magnets and squished them in there with that heavy duty adhesive, clamped them into place, and let them dry overnight. Now it's time to attach the hinges. First, I attached the hinges on the legs, and then I was very careful to line everything up as best as I could, and then I attached the hinges onto the plywood. The piece of plywood that I'm using is a half an inch thick and it was left over from cutting out house numbers for the multiple house number signs that I have made for myself and friends. This DIY is extremely functional in our home. In fact, right now I'm sitting on my bed eating a snack that I brought up on the tray and then flipping this over and creating a uh, lap desk. I'm editing this video on my laptop. So, like I said, extremely functional. I really am proud of how this turned out because it was a brainchild of mine and if you thought this idea was cool, I would appreciate you sharing it with others. I spend a lot of time working on my computer sitting here and so I really appreciate now I have a lap desk where my neck isn't going to get tired from looking down. And I also think the functionality of this as a standing desk, if you didn't want to have the legs splayed at a 45 you can have them standing upright straight, like at a 90 degree angle, and it's a great tabletop accessory to rise up your laptop to a more comfortable height. Just to encourage you further to go to Lindy's channel, now that you've watched what I made, I wanna tell you a little bit about Lindy and her husband, Russ. They are pro DIYers. If you think that I know how to build, you will be floored at what these two can accomplish. They built their kids' playhouse recently. Like, it's basically like building a mini house because they did everything with this space. They did insulation, they did siding, they have a beautiful little front door. Like, it's really extra. And um, they have done renovations throughout their entire interior. The most major one happening now is their stairway and has like a custom iron railing. Um, they installed lights on every step. Like, I love following along with them, and you will too. If you're interested in DIY, they are a must subscribe. So go to their channel right now, check out what they made for the Scraps Made Modern project, and vote in the comments, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us. We'll catch you again next time on Welcome to the Woods.